you know, man. Today I was just, you know, sitting back, you know, reminiscing. And uh, I was just thinking, I was like, five years ago, I was facing 20 years in the feds. You know? And uh, I just wanted to thank the universe, you know, for always protecting me. No matter how big of a jam I ever got myself in, I felt like I was always, I always got out of there with fair, con with fair consequences, you know? Uh, you know, with like light punishments, you know? Not too heavy, you know? All my life, shit, I felt like I was protected, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to uh, thank the universe for that. <clears throat> And uh, speaking of universe, uh, I got a banger for y'all today, man. I ain't doing no capping, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, I got a major banger. Uh, I know y'all be hearing a lot of people say say that um, that uh, you know that's universal law, you know that's part of universal law. So you know what I'm saying? They never really just break it down as far as universal law, but you know. You don't have to break it down because flip it backwards. Laws of the universe, basically self-explanatory, you know. So what I want to break down is the 12 universal laws. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, man, before I jump straight into it, man, you know I got to do the intro, man. You already know the name, man. You already know the slang, man. You already know the game, man. But just in case you don't know, man, tap that motherfucking subscribe button and look right next to the left of it. All right, so now look, I'm about to give y'all the 12 universal laws, and hopefully this improve your life, because it improved mine. So I, right, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it, like I always do. So I, right, number one, we got law of energy, and the law of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Number two. The law of rhythm and the law of rhythm states that everything is cyclical and changes around the corner this law is the process of moving in and out of various phases in life or experiencing seasons of change so in other words what goes up must come down number three we got the law of action and the law of action is what you physically do after you align yourself spiritually for your desired outcome. Number four, we got the law of oneness. And the law of oneness states that we are all connected through creation. Number five, the law of gender. And pay attention to law five because it links because it's linked in with law four. And number five is the law of gender. And the law of gender is creation that requires both yin and yang. So listen, in order to create anything, it requires both yin and yang. Both, listen, both masculine and feminine energy are required and balanced to create anything. So, all right, look, we both possess the potential to have masculine and, fem and feminine energy. And number six is the law of polarity. Yin and yang, some call it duality, you know. The law of polarity is duality, you know, good, evil, love, hate, up, down, left, right, light, dark, night, day. You know what I'm saying. Um, and then now, let's get into, um, hold on real quick. My notes almost fell. All right. And now we got number seven, you dig? And that's the law of relativity. And this law suggests that we are inclined to compare things in our world, but in reality, everything is neutral. So, you know, basically, uh, you know, perspective perception you know whatever you perceive is your reality but 
you know, everything is neutral. So, all right, number eight, we got the law of transmutation. I like this one. And, and all right, look. All right, look, energy can't be created nor destroyed, but you can change a particular energy into another form. And basically, you really transmute energy. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you turn them, uh, negative energy into positive energy. You know, that's what you're doing, but you can't create it or, nor destroy it, but you can transmute it. And number nine is the law of compensation. And the law of compensation. And the law of compensation states that you will always be compensated for your efforts and contributions, whatever it is, however much or however little, whatever you put out, that's what you're going to get. And it's basically the law of reaping and sowing, you know, you reap what you sow. And number 10, we got the law of cause and effect. And the law of cause and effect states that every single action in the universe produces a reaction no matter what. And number 11, we got the law of attraction, aka manifestation, you know. And the law of attraction states that the energy of our thoughts, no matter if it's positive or negative, attracts the experiences of the same energy to come into our lives. So, you know, it's kind of like um, what can happen will happen. Well, it's nothing like that. Scratch that. You know what I'm saying? It's basically like whatever you're thinking, that's the type of energy you bring. And so, you know, I always practice positive thoughts. You know, keep positive vibes, you know, in your circle, you know. Keep your vibe positive, you dig? Now, and last but not least, number 12, the final universal law is the law of correspondence. And the law of correspondence states that whatever happens around us is a direct reflection of what is happening within us. Our internal environments determine our external environments. Now that's super deep. Now that's super deep. But yeah, man. Um, I hope that I hope that these universal laws um change our life. You know, um, improve your life, man. You know, um. Shit, man, that's all I wanted, man. You know, man, I was just came here to drop it down on you because I always hear people saying universal law, but they never broke it down. Nobody never told me the laws or nothing. You hear about cosmic court and all that, but nobody never break it down. So, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to break it down for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, out of all the research that I did, um, because I was interested in myself, so, you know, if it can help me, it may can help you, man. You already know the name, man. You already know the slang, man. You already know the game, man. Three for the three, man. I'm out, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. 100.